Amy Calhoun, and welcome to A Moment with the Maestro. I'm here with Maestro Kirk Musbrat of New Philharmonic. Kirk, the orchestra's performing Mahler's First Symphony in your upcoming concert. Can you tell me why this is referred to as the Titan Symphony? Mm. Well, Mahler actually gave it that nickname. He gave it that nickname in the program notes. I think that he called it that because, first of all, my own opinion is in 1888 when he was writing it, it was the largest, longest symphony ever written and the forces needed. I mean, the brass at the end of the piece, the huge orchestral forces, and it has that muscular, at the end, m massive kind of, you know, Atlas, Titan kind of feeling to it. Um, it is the longest symphony written in history up until that point. It's about 53 or 54 minutes, which is 13 or 14 minutes longer than even a Brahms symphony. So it is, ugh, you know. Um, and then there are things in the music. I mean, there's everything from, um, in the symphony, there's everything from a picture of a French hunting song to um, calls of nature and things like that. And I think in his own mind, he sort of thought of the piece as titanic in scope emotionally and what it, the story that it told for him emotionally. And um, it was certainly received that way too. It had a titanic good and bad reception at the time in the 1890s when he did it. So yeah, it's a, it is a titanic, massive, powerful goosebump type of piece. That sounds like it's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me, Kirk. And thank you for joining me for a moment with the maestro. For more information about New Philharmonic's upcoming performance, please find us at www.atthemac.org.